Blender motion graphics are one of my favorite things to do on the channel. So let's get this thing going. Hey guys, I'm Kai. Welcome back. That's by Kai. And today we're back once again. And today we're going to be creating this cool, like, step motion graphic thing where they fly upwards and it, yeah, it's pretty cool. So the first thing we need to do is we need to go ahead and just drag a box over top of everything in our scene except for our camera and hit delete to get rid of those things because we do not need them today. So let's go ahead and grab our camera, hit alt G to clear the location and alt R to clear the rotation. Um, and now we can go ahead and grab our camera by hitting uh, G and Y to move the camera backwards. And then we need to rotate it back. So hit R and then X on your keyboard and 90 on your num pad. Hit enter to confirm that and now hit zero to go into the camera's view. Now with this done, you can see we have the uh, camera all set up. Now we have the ability to go ahead and hit shift A and search for a mesh plane and then hit R, X, and then nine, zero on your keyboard. And as you can see, now we have a little plane, which is nice. Hit enter to go ahead and uh, confirm that, that rotation. And now we need to go ahead and scale this down because it's pretty big. I wanna have more than just this one tile on the screen. We would only have like three tiles if, it, if they were this big, um, cause they almost cover up the entire screen. So let's go ahead and select it, hit S to scale it downwards, maybe about, uh, maybe about that big. And then hit, go ahead and hit G to move it down here to the bottom left or bottom right, wherever you want to start. Um, we'll go ahead and actually we'll, we'll just hit uh, G X to move it straight over. And then so we can get the rough width of the um, or the right the height, sorry, of our camera. Hit S Z to scale this bad boy on the Z axis up and down until it is uh, just barely just going out of frame. So we can't see the edges. Nice with this done. We need to go ahead and hit uh, G, Z to move this all the way down out of the camera's view. Hit G, X maybe just to get a little bit of buffer in there so the edge is uh, a little a little out of the focus. So you can just make sure we don't have any gaps. Like you don't want a gap like that. You don't want a gap. You don't want a gap like that. So just make sure it's, you know, uh, like looking good. There we go. Hit uh, G, Z to move it back down. So now we need to do what we need to do is we need to animate this so that it flies upwards um, when the scene starts. So. Let's change our start frame to zero and go to the zero frame. Hit I, location, and then go to maybe frame 50, and then hit G, Z, and move this almost all the way up. Hit I, location, and then on maybe frame 120, we'll do G, Z, and we'll move it all the way up like that. I, location. Now when we play this, you can see it's gonna look, it's gonna look kind of choppy like this. So the way we fix that is we go to this main tab over here on the right hand side, actually the second tab, and then go to frame rate and change this from 24 to 60. Now when we play this, you can see that it is nice and smooth, which is exactly what we want. But this is not exactly um, fast enough for me. So let's go ahead and grab our 50th frame and then put this to maybe frame 30 by hitting G and then sliding it over to the 30 frame. If we play this now, you can see it looks like that, which looks pretty good. Maybe we'll put it on 40 instead of 30, somewhere in between. Yeah, there we go. Looks pretty decent. I like that. That's good. I like that. Nice. With that done, I think we're going to go ahead and move on to the next piece that I want to do, which is the color. So let's go ahead and hit this little drop down on the materials tab. Hit material. Change this to like um, ice cream, because it very well looks like ice cream. Guys, what else is it going to be called? Um, We'll change the base color to actually we'll change the surface from principal bsdf to emission so it's flat um, and there's no shading or no shadows on this at all we'll change the color to a color we want which i'm just going to do blue um, for for now there we go and we're going to go ahead and go to the main tab here and go all the way down to color management and change this um, from filmic to standard so that the color is actually the color we set it to instead of there being a film over top of the entire image and then we're gonna go ahead and go to the uh, world tab and change the color to a black color. So now the background is black and the, uh, the object we have in the forefront is blue. Now you can see we have this, uh, this one little strip animated. What we need to do before we move on from this step is we need to go ahead and delete the Y keyframe um, location. So let's go ahead and open this up and hit this little uh, arrow and this little down arrow you can see we have object transforms here now what this is is when we open this you can see that we have the x location the y location and the z location now because we need to go ahead and move this on the x-axis not the y-axis sorry my fault my, my mistake um we need to go ahead and delete the x 
uh, location keyframes because we've only keyframed the Y location um, so it moves up and down. Oh, actually, the, the Z location, sorry. So it moves up and down. So we don't need the Y or the X whatsoever. So let's go ahead and just hold down Control and select the uh, X and also the Y location. Actually, hold down Shift, sorry. Uh, X and Y location. Hit Delete on those, and you can see that. Um, wait, you can see that if we grab these two right here. So all of these. You can see if we delete then it'll only leave us with the Z location keyframe, which is exactly what we need. So once we have that done, we can go ahead and continue. Now we can actually uh, duplicate these all over and not have to worry about them snapping back into place like we did before. So um, let's go ahead and hit Shift D, duplicate this, hit G, X, and then to move it over uh, just so it's in the almost the proper exact spot, I'm gonna hit 0 0.06 on our numpad hit enter to confirm that and as you can see if I was going to wireframe mode so you can see how much it overlaps it overlaps about that much so we have a little bit of a buffer so that it doesn't have like a gap in it which would be not the most fun thing so you don't want a gap like that because you'll see through it so just have them overlap a little bit so there's no gap whatsoever nice with this done we can duplicate all the rest of them so it's shift D G X point five zero and as you can see I'll do that for all of the remaining space and then I shall be right back all right with that done you can see we have all of these now and uh, all of these uh, strips and they all move up at the same time and uh, but the problem is that the camera's not in the center of them so let's go ahead and select our camera hit GX and move it over more in the center of all of our strips there we go nice with this done we can go ahead and scale the camera back a little bit by hitting G and double tapping Z so that the camera kind of moves out a little bit so we can see more of the strips which is what I want so we'll do something like that which looks really really good now with that done you can see when we play this all the strips move at the same time which is not exactly what I want so we're gonna go ahead and uh, split our window into two by putting our cursor in the top left hand corner until it turns into a little uh, plus icon and then just clicking and dragging to the, to the right now you can see it makes two windows here let's go ahead and hit this little button up here to change this to the graph editor we can change it to the graph editor actually or we can change it to the dope sheet um, we can use the dope sheet down here as well like we did earlier but just so we can have a different window um, let's go ahead and put our cursor up here on the first plane um, downside downsize that and then just drag your mouse down before you let go of your mouse there you go just drag it down so it closes all of them at the same time and now you can see we have all of the different planes which is all of these bad boys over here you can see these are all the different um, strips that we have. So let's go ahead and hold down shift and uh, click a box over top of all of these except for the first plane. Now let's hit G and then just move these keyframes over a few frames. So let's go ahead and zoom in here and move them over about maybe five frames. So just move them over like that. And you can see exactly what we're doing here. Now I just go ahead and hit B to choose box select and use your middle mouse button. So the scroll wheel, click the scroll wheel on your mouse in and then just get rid of the top one. There you go. Hit G, move it over. Five frames into the same process. So hit B to box select. Click the middle mouse button, the scroll wheel. Click that and then just drag a box over only the top one and then move it over like this. And as you can see, uh, we have all of these uh, these moving around. Now we don't, we forgot to um, drag a box over top of these two as well. Make sure you get all three of them. So uh, make sure you drag a box over to those as well. So hit B, box select the top two. And then um, actually we'll just grab these and move them over like uh, like this. So the first one's supposed to go on 45 and then this one's supposed to go on 50. Make sure you get all of those instead of just the first keyframe. So there you go. Drag a box over, all, over top of all those. Hit G. Move it over five frames. About right there. And the same thing. Middle mouse button. Get rid of the top one. And then move it over five. There you go. So that is basically what we need to do for the rest of these. And I shall be back once I have done that. All right. There you go. As you can see, I have now created... Um, that little staircase for all of these and as you can see what's gonna happen here is that when we go ahead and click our window away like this I may do that again. That was kind of quick if we put our cursor back up here to the uh, Plus and then just drag to the left. It'll get rid of that uh, window now when you play this you can see it does like this now and all of those come up at the same time at not the same time sorry but they all have like this little stagger staircase kind of thing which looks really 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 cool so let's go ahead and grab our camera Go to the camera tab, and just so we can see things easier, go to the viewport display and turn this all the way up to one. Play it again, you can see it looks like that, which looks really, really good. So that's a nice little motion graphic thing for us. Um, as you can see, the bottom is kind of peeking through now that we've zoomed the camera out. So let's go ahead and make sure that's not happening by just um, making, we can zoom the camera back in a little bit actually, just not that much, there we go. Make sure the top and the bottom are both not showing. 
there we go we're looking good nice so with that done as you can see um there's nothing else left for us to do we can uh be done now that we have this this piece uh completed this is our nice little uh staircase kind of motion graphic i guess is what you would call it i suppose it kind of looks like an audio visualizer as well which is pretty pretty cool but uh but yeah so that's basically our nice little motion graphic so yeah that is basically it if you enjoyed it drop a comment down below if you're new subscribe and if you really want to check out some more content yeah, there's two videos right here for you to choose i don't know which one you're going to choose one, one of them's about penguins and the other one's about uh, uh ice cream that's actually not true at all. That's neither one of them about either of those things. It's actually just more tutorials. But hopefully you enjoy those too. Yeah.